Hey, did you know Windows 10 is basically about to retire? Yeah, I'm serious. Official support ends October 14th. That means no more updates, no more patches, and no more security fixes to save you from whatever questionable stuff you might be doing online. Now, Microsoft wants you to move to Windows 11. You know, the one with more built-in ads, AI bloat, and menus that look like they were designed by aliens. But what if you don't want to switch? What if you could stay on good old Windows 10 safely all the way to 2032? Well, there's a way. It's called Windows 10 LTSC that stands for Long-Term Servicing Channel. Basically, it's the grown-up, no-nonsense version of Windows. No ads, no fluff, just updates. But I found a way to convert your existing Windows 10 into LTSC without reinstalling everything from scratch. Sounds too easy? Yeah, I thought so too. So we're testing it together. Oh, and disclaimer, I'm not telling you to do this. I'm just doing this. If something explodes, it's on me. So I'm using my old desktop for this. It's basically falling apart. Perfect for experiments. Step one, we tweak a small thing in the registry. Step two, we run the LTSC installer. Step three, hope nothing bursts into flames. Let's go, open registry. First step, we check the registry. There's a small entry we flip to tell Windows we want to be on the enterprise servicing channel. Tiny change, big vibes. It looks like this in the registry. Change the addition ID to the enterprise style value. I'll show the UI. Don't type anything risky unless you know what you're doing. This tweak only changes what channel Windows thinks it's on. It doesn't by itself magically convert everything. After that, you run the LTSC setup the installer on the LTSC ISO. I had the ISO already install it. If you don't have one, get it legitimately from Microsoft or your vendor. Don't go hunting sketchy sites. That's how terrible things happen. Light, self-deprecating. I ran the setup straight from the ISO on the desktop folder I accept the license. I click next. Then Windows tried to restart. If you're doing this, be ready to babysit the process. This part takes a while. Okay, install finished. I reboot and log back in. First glance, accounts there, files look intact. Now the nervous part, is it activated? Did the registry stick? Did I break anything? Beat. At first try, no scary errors. Then I went to settings arrow about and checked the Windows edition. Lo and behold, Windows 10, Enterprise LTSC, we did it. The registry tweak stuck. My machine now has long-term servicing possibilities. That's a huge relief. No more upgrade nags, no AI pop-ups, no meet copilot screens, just peace. And guess what? It'll still get updates till 2032. That's like two more presidential terms of security updates. Okay, serious warning. Whatever you do, don't open PowerShell as administrator. Don't even think about typing anything in there. And please, for the love of your license, don't open your browser and search something like Microsoft Activation Script. Don't click the first GitHub link that pops up. Don't scroll down. Don't read the instructions. And definitely don't copy-paste that weird blue text into PowerShell. Because if you do, your Windows might just, you know, magically activate itself. And we wouldn't want that to happen, right? Anyway, I'm just saying what not to do here. For educational purposes only. Microsoft lawyers, I come in peace. So yeah, if you're not a fan of Windows 11's chaos, you can keep your Windows 10 alive and chill, just like this. Again, this isn't an official tutorial, I'm just experimenting. But hey, if it worked for me, maybe it'll accidentally work for you too. Anyway. I'll leave some useful links down below. Not the ones that get me banned, don't worry. And if you enjoyed this wild ride, drop a like, maybe subscribe, or tell me in the comments if your PC survived. See you in the next one. 
hopefully still on Windows 10, on.